Now today, the Badgers are one and done in the NCAA bracket. We'll hear fan reaction to last night's battle in Brooklyn. Also this morning, the latest on Princess Kate's cancer diagnosis. CBS's Wendy Gillette reports on the outpouring of support. It is a uh, chilly start to our morning. We're looking at some sunshine, temperatures in the 20s. Another system will bring us some snow and eventually some rain. We'll have more coming up. And good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings. I'm Kyle Pazorski. It is Saturday, March 23rd. Let's begin by taking a look outside this morning with first war meteorologist Kelly Slifka. Good morning, Kelly. How are you doing after last night's Badgers loss? Uh, that was rough, wasn't it? It yeah, was. It was rough. And uh, I didn't have them going forward on my bracket, so mine was not busted by. I them, had to beat him, Duke. <laughs> okay. Everybody well. wants him to beat Duke, right? Well, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Well, we are looking at some uh, cool conditions this morning on this uh, first weekend of spring. It uh, does not quite feel like spring this morning with the uh, snow that we had yesterday. Uh, temperatures are fairly cool this morning. In fact, as we uh, take a look at uh, what we can expect uh, later today, temperatures in the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s. And some clouds will start to stream on in as well going through later today. Now, tomorrow will still be in the mid uh, to upper 30s, but we're also expecting some rain and even some snow moving in uh, once again. After we get through this weekend, I think we'll actually expect some better weather. Our average high now is in the uh, mid 40s. I think we'll be in the 50s most of next week. So uh, just have to get through this weekend into early next week and our chances of precipitation uh, fairly high going into tomorrow, tomorrow night into uh, Monday. Some rain and snow mix. Uh, otherwise, we'll look at uh, quieter conditions, it looks like, by the later part of next week. As far as the precipitation, most of the uh, country actually expecting wetter than normal conditions, excluding South Texas uh, going into uh, next week into next weekend. And running pretty close to average, it looks like, here in the uh, Badger State with cooler conditions expected out west. Talk more about that chance of rain and even some snow coming away tomorrow. We'll talk more about that coming up. All right, Kelly, thank you. We'll check back in just a bit. We begin with our top stories this morning, starting with the trial of a state DCI investigator involved in the shooting of Quadron Wilson two years ago. The trial wrapped up its first week Friday. Mark Wagner is facing public endangerment charges. He's accused of firing on Wilson back in February of 2022 as part of an arrest operation on Madison's Far East Side. Wilson was wanted on drug charges when a number of agencies worked to arrest him. Wagner's defense team has argued Wilson was shooting at him, so he fired back. And using force is common in Wisconsin law enforcement agencies. The trial is expected to continue through at least next week. Tarrock County, where a man was arrested after being accused of pointing a gun at another person, officers responded to a home on High Street in the village of Clinton Friday morning. The sheriff's office said SWAT had to be called to rescue at the scene. It was only after uh, multiple hours inside the residence that the suspect did exit, being later taken into custody. Up north in the Chippewa Valley, it's the end of an era for HSHS hospitals. Sacred Heart Hospital in Eau Claire and St. Joseph's Hospital in Chippewa Falls closed their doors for Good Friday, but not without a tribute. Community members, first responders, and employees gathered to celebrate the hospitals, their workers, and what they meant for so many throughout the region. One former employee says it wasn't just a hospital, it was a place where she built her family. These were my friends. This was my family. We created a culture on the units where I worked that was very um, kind and caring and inclusive. Plans for a new facility in the area are currently under discussion. The Badgers were upset in the NCAA men's basketball tournament last night, losing to James Madison. This was not a good one for Bucky. The first half couldn't have gone worse as the offense was just not cooking and 13 first half turnovers would have Wisconsin down 13 at the break. Then in the second half, Max Klesman came alive, burying the, his fourth triple in the second half to keep Bucky in it. He would finish with 18 points, but this sums it up for the night for Wisconsin. Klesman misses on a layup, and on the other end, James Madison hits a three. Wisconsin season comes to an end, 72 to 61 the final. The loss is definitely a hard pill to swallow after Wisconsin seemed to be heading in the right direction towards the end of the season. Our Brandon Ross spoke with fans and has their reaction to last night's game. Hopes were high here at the start of this evening at State Street Brats, but unfortunately it ended in disappointment. We were excited, you know, we, we thought we thought we were going to dominate, uh, so we got here early. We thought this place would be a great atmosphere, a great vibe. Um, you know, it didn't turn out that way, but it was still fun. You know, it's our senior year, so the excitement for Wisconsin in the championship was to the max right now. 
It's unfortunate, but we still enjoy the time here with the boys. Do you guys follow uh, women's hockey at all? Or are you guys excited about that one? Yeah, I saw they won tonight. I think they got, uh, that was the semifinals. So that'll be exciting coming up, yeah. We're a women's sports school. But despite the basketball disappointment, the Badgers were able to pull out another win over in hockey. So there's still a chance at a Badger championship that's coming up this Sunday. For now, reporting in Madison, Braden Ross, News 3 Now. And coming up later this half hour, Zach will have a full breakdown of both Badgers teams and what's to come. Overseas, an outpouring of support is being shown for Kate Middleton, the Princess of Wales, who revealed she has cancer. Kate made the announcement last night via a taped video release. CBS's Wendy Gillette has the details. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. The stunning announcement from the Princess of Wales came after an extended period of limited updates from Kensington Palace following her abdominal surgery in January. That led to speculation online that only intensified when the princess took responsibility for manipulating a photo with her children that was released last week. It has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. The princess says she's in the early stages of chemotherapy treatments and asks for space and privacy. I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. She did not mention the type of cancer. Neither did King Charles, who announced his cancer diagnosis last month. Londoners say they're sad and upset about the princess's revelation. Obviously, she's going to have the best, the best treatment, but um, absolutely, you, you, you never like to hear that somebody's, somebody's got cancer in such a, you know, young family. The reaction was similar at the British-themed Tea and Sympathy Cafe in New York City. I feel nothing but sympathy for the family, as I would anyone who's going through a similar health situation. The princess's last royal function was on Christmas. Wendy Gillette, CBS News. The palace says the princess started treatments late last month. President Biden went to X Friday to say he and First Lady Jill Biden wished Catherine a full recovery. And staying overseas, CBS News is reporting that more than 100 people are dead and countless others are injured following a shooting at a Moscow uh, concert hall in Moscow. The concert hall, which can fit over 6,000 people, was hosting a performance by Russian rock band Picnic. The terrorist group ISIS is claiming responsibility. This video from after shows the attack left cons the concert hall in flames and it's being called the deadliest attack in Russia in years. Back here in the U.S., despite this being one of the stronger weeks on Wall Street, stocks ended Friday on a mediocre note. The Dow flirted with the record 40,000 mark in pre-market trading, but fell during regular trading hours. And the tech-heavy Nasdaq set a new record Friday, but the S&P 500, like the Dow, was slightly lower. And here's a more detailed look at the week's closing numbers. The Dow falls 305, the Nasdaq gains almost 27, and the S&P 500 loses 7. Here in Wisconsin, the mother of missing Wisconsin 3-year-old Elijah Vu was in court on Friday. Katrina Bauer pleaded not guilty to four charges, including chronic neglect of a child. Bauer and her boyfriend faced similar child neglect charges, but neither has been charged with the boy's disappearance. Ben Krumholtz has the latest. Then we'll go on the record in the state of Wisconsin versus Katrina Bauer. Friday afternoon's court appearance only took about two minutes as Katrina Bauer's attorney your plea, not guilty. entered that plea on behalf of her client. Bauer faces four charges, felony child neglect, two misdemeanors of obstruction, and a misdemeanor of child neglect pertaining to another child. Well, we just all kind of looked at each other and we're just like, not guilty. <laughs> Take it as you will. Yolanda Godfrey and other two Rivers area residents have consistently attended court appearances for Bauer and her boyfriend Jesse Vang over the last month. Court documents show Bauer, who lives in Wisconsin Dells, brought Elijah to Vang on February 12th to stay with him at his Two Rivers home. She wanted Vang to show the three-year-old how to be a man. February 20th, Vang reported Elijah as missing to police, claiming he woke up from a nap and discovered Elijah was no longer in his home. Since then, concerned residents like Godfrey have been looking for the boy. Me as a stranger and all these hundreds of other volunteers are out there looking for your son and we're on day 32 and still no Elijah. So, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a little bitter. Hearing the not guilty plea, however, does not deter Godfrey's hope Elijah can be found. You got to. I pray 
all the time that he is safe. I got goosebumps just thinking about it. While Two Rivers Police did not provide a Friday update on their investigation, volunteers will resume looking on Saturday after taking the day off due to the snow. That's Ben Crumwell's reporting. Time now is 8.09, still ahead. The Mega Millions jackpot has grown again. We'll have the details. Plus, let's take a live look outside. Kelly will have your full forecast on this chilly Saturday morning. And there are several new shows and movies to check out. Will Loper shares his picks and three things to watch. That's all ahead when we return on Weekend Mornings. First warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer. Only on News 3 Now. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $2.69 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Come on, Michael, come on. Catch the ball! Huddle up! Do you need to get your eyes checked? Well, actually, here's the play. Stanton Optical makes glasses in 30 minutes. It's easy on three. One, two, three. Easy. easy. Hut. Hut. Come on, Michael, you got this. Come on, come on, turn. Michael, catch. I can see. You did it. I did it. 30 minute glasses? Now that's an easy play. Stanton Optical. Easy's our thing. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college in our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and Vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Madison Magazine is growing, and we're seeking top talent for media sales. It's more than just a job. It's something bigger. Unleash your income. Apply today on Channel3000.com and be part of something big. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio with the uh, snow on the uh, ground. The uh, sun is up, and uh, we'll be melting the snow gradually throughout the uh, day today. Uh, you know, here we are headed in the first weekend of spring. Not quite feeling like it. It looks like uh, colder than average temperatures expected today and also tomorrow. And I think actually by tomorrow morning, about this time, we can expect some snow showers moving in. And then it will get warm enough that that'll be changing over to some rain later tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and some rainy, uh, windy conditions expected on Monday. All right, today we are looking at sunshine, but rather chilly. Upper teens in the Cooley region should be in the 20s this morning uh, for much of the southern Wisconsin and only warming into the mid to upper 30s today. Now, later this afternoon, we will see some clouds starting to roll on in, especially areas to the west later this afternoon. Uh, that'll continue through tonight and by tomorrow morning, expecting a band of some snow showers to move through. This really won't be accumulating, but needless to say, here we are, kind of hanging on to some winter-like conditions. I think eventually that snow uh, will be changing over to some rain showers going into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, and that'll be with us on Monday, and we'll really start to warm up going into the uh, Monday afternoon. We should be tapping out in the mid-50s with some showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm uh, going into early next week. 
Looking at some sunshine this morning, uh, temperatures climbing into the upper 30s later today, mid to upper 30s this afternoon, so running still about 10 degrees below our average for this time of the year. Tonight we will drop in the upper 20s with some of that snow rolling on in. Uh, that'll be after midnight going into tomorrow morning. So we've got some cool weather uh, forecast this weekend. Uh, tomorrow we should be in the mid to upper 30s with some of that rain and snow moving on in. Uh, cool conditions uh, this weekend. Milder weather will return but not until we get into the middle later part of next week. Uh, looking at temperatures in the 50s to uh, low 60s as that jet stream uh, rises up to the north. So Madison, we're looking at temperatures in the 30s this weekend. We will climb above average, it looks like, by Monday, and we are looking at 50. So after this weekend, we should be uh, talking about some milder temperatures headed our way. 40s this weekend. For La Crosse, 44 for this Saturday, 45 on Sunday. We are looking at some of that rain and snow moving in. It looks like early next week. Uh, for Madison, we should be talking about some uh, temperatures in the uh, 30s this weekend. It should be rising in the 50s by Monday. And that chance of rain and snow, that'll be moving in tomorrow. And that'll continue into Monday. Uh, looking at another system arriving by Thursday of next week could be bringing us some rain, maybe a little bit of snow mixed in, but temperatures will be warming a little bit closer to average as we go into the later part of the week into next weekend. All right, Kelly, thank you. Well, that snow we got here in southern Wisconsin may be annoying for some, but for those at the sledding hill, it created perfect conditions Friday. Maddie Himes went out to see who was taking it all in on their snow day. We're here at Tollefson Park in Verona, where kids are enjoying what could be the last snow day of the school year. And I am too. Watch out, Lex! School may have been closed, but students made their way to campus anyway, to use the hill behind the building, of course. Got some end of the season sleds that we were able to break out. Go. And with a winter of unlikely highs and lows, kids told us Friday was long overdue. They've only really gotten to sled once this year because it's just like the snow has been so unpredictable. Uh -oh. I've been sledding here a few times, but um, this is my first time in a little while because of it was hot and now it's cold. <laughs> Not sure how long the flurries would last. Kids at the hill spent every minute racing one another, building snowmen, and yes, eating some of the snow. Parents told us they didn't mind either. Friday's weather will make their upcoming spring break trips feel even warmer. Kids at the hill tell me they can't wait for the next snow day. Reporting in Verona, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. And with the heavy snowfall, the city of Madison is reminding residents to clear public sidewalks in front of their homes by noon today. Madison's Building Inspection Division says they have assessed 324 snow clearing violations this season so far. That goes back to October. They say they have also received 71 complaints over excessive salt use, but have not issued any related citations. Well, if you plan to spend the day inside, no problem. There is no shortage of films and shows streaming right now. Our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this weekend's Three Things to Watch. Guys, everyone thinks we're losers, but that's about to change. I know where the treasure of Foggy Mountain is. From when we were kids? Newly streaming on Amazon Prime Video is the film Please Don't Destroy the Treasure of Foggy Mountain. That is a full-on hawk. Hey, buddy. The comedy follows three friends on a series of misadventures to find treasure. Everyone is after this treasure. We deserve that. You deserve it? Yeah. Three white guys whose biggest issue is what? Growing up? It's no, it's, not, I feel like it's more nuanced it's way than that. Please don't destroy. The Treasure of Foggy Mountain is streaming on Amazon Prime Video now. Newly streaming on Disney Plus and Hulu is the docu-series Photographer. The only way you can change the world. is with stories. The series shines a light on seven influential photographers. Yeah. Obviously there's a risk involved. It's this yin-yang of danger and this incredible raw beauty. Photographer is streaming on Disney Plus and Hulu now. We have to stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. And relive the days of Saturday morning cartoons with X-Men 97, streaming on Disney+. Plus. Many of the original voice cast returns from the 90s series as the superheroes who face off against new villains. 
X-Men 97 is streaming on Disney Plus now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. And next on Weekend Mornings, we'll take another look outside. Plus, Zach will have a full breakdown of the Badgers' loss in Brooklyn. Stick with us. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. I've been with U.S. Cellular for years now, and I think I'm their biggest fan. So they asked me to tell you about their special customer event, Us Days. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers, like up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. So I said, if I'm going to be on TV, do you think I can get hair and makeup? And I even got a manicure, too. Introducing Us Days at U.S. Cellular. Exclusive offers just for our customers. Get up to $1,200 to upgrade to any new phone. <laughs> Tempur-Pedic designed the Ergo Pro Smart Base to help you fall asleep more easily. It's the only Smart Base that features our exclusive soundscape mode that synchronizes a gentle massage with relaxing sounds to help you drift peacefully off to sleep. Get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Our community is full of wonderful, giving people. Tell us about the good you see. Go to Channel 3000 or post it using the hashtag Do Something Good. I'll share your stories on News 3 Now. Let's do something good. At Harker Heating and Cooling, you can save a whole bunch of money when you buy a furnace. You know what's even better? Saving even more money when you purchase a furnace and an air conditioner at the same time. Harker Heating and Cooling. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka on this uh, chilly start to the uh, morning. Temperatures in the uh, teens and low 20s this morning on this first uh, full weekend of uh, spring. It's going to be a chilly day today. Temperatures only rising in the upper 30s. A little bit more cloud cover rolling into western parts of the state as we go through the afternoon. That could lead to a little bit of snow later tonight. That'll be mixing with some rain tomorrow in Madison, looking at mid to upper 30s today. So a chilly Saturday for us. It should be dry today, but we are talking about some rain and snow moving in tomorrow. Uh, we'll have more on that uh, forecast that will include some rain and snow coming our way tomorrow into Monday. We'll talk more about it coming up. Well, if you're a Badgers loyal list and just waking up this morning, you're not going to like this. The Badgers losing in last night's March Madness game against James Madison, knocking them out of the tournament. Zach Hanley is in Brooklyn, New York with a full breakdown. The last two times the Badgers were a five seed in the NCAA tournament, they were bounced by a 12 seed in the first round. Wisconsin not looking for a similar fate this time around against James Madison, but unfortunately, history has a way of repeating itself. Tyler Wall locked in for his final March Madness in a UW uniform, and the first half couldn't have gone any worse. AJ Storr takes it to the cup for two plus one. That cuts it to five, but 
13 first half turnovers had Wisconsin down 13 at the break. Second half, Max Klesman came alive. Mad Max buries his fourth triple of the second half to keep Bucky in this one. He had a team high 18, but this sums up the night for Wisconsin. Klesman misses a layup on one end, and on the other end, James Madison hits a three. Season high 19 turnovers and shooting 37% from the floor won't get it done and it didn't. Wisconsin falls 72 to 61. It burns because you put a lot into this. This wasn't just, you weren't preparing for this just for four days after Selection Sunday. You've been working towards this since, you know, last June to get to this point. So these guys have poured a lot into it and hence you see the, the tears and the um, emotion coming from it because they've it means a lot. Meanwhile, the Wisconsin women's hockey team also on the big stage four and a half hours away in Durham, New Hampshire. Andrew Banster has more from the Frozen Four. All the training, all the blood, sweat, and tears, it all comes down to this. Wisconsin playing Colgate in the national semifinal. Bucky just two wins away from back-to-back -back national titles. And the Badgers arrived in style to defend their crown. First period and on the eve of the National Player of the Year award being announced, Kirsten Sims stuffs the ballot box. The presumed Patty Kaz winner nets her 33rd goal of the season, and Wisconsin opens their frozen four run with a lead. And then all of a sudden, the game fell silent, at least until it was time to put the nail in the coffin. Third period, and that's where Vivian Jungles comes in. Picture-perfect assist from Britta Curl and Casey O'Brien. The Badgers brush, gargle, and rinse Colgate, winning it 3-1, to one, setting up a national championship rematch on Sunday. We're excited, obviously, to win the game and, and, and move on and get an opportunity to play in the last uh, game of the season so we look forward to uh, Sunday and the challenges that will present to us. Yeah I just think it kind of settled our nerves a little bit and kind of let us get into our game more and get into the flow of things a little bit more but definitely think we started to push more later in the game but that first goal definitely got our energy up and got us kind of to settle in a little bit more and let the nerves go. When I talked to the team after the game their attitudes were very telling. A lot of groups would be giddy after winning a national semifinal, but not the Badgers. The job it's not done. At the Women's Frozen Four in Durham, New Hampshire, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. So it's well, coming up next, a look at our top morning headlines at 8.30. Stick with us. This is Weekend Mornings. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. At RG Heating and Air Conditioning, our promise to you is 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Guaranteed service, repairs, and replacements. Installing quality train equipment. Trust your home with RG Heating and AC. Not go. It's free if I do it, babe. <laughs> Whoa, you need the experts. Let the experts at Feldco make your home renewal project a cinch with free installation on windows, siding, doors, and roofing. Plus, no interest for five years. Free installation won't last long. Hurry, call now. Call 866 for Feldco. The Honda you want is here. Get a great offer on the stylish HRV or the Civic, which car and driver calls fun to drive. There's never been a better time to drive in the moment with Honda. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. Our record high energy costs putting a squeeze on your fixed or limited incomes. While you haven't asked for it, the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy assistance providers are here to help. No Wisconsin resident should ever have to face the challenge of living without heat or power or face homelessness. For a hand up, apply today. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? 
Certainty matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint for certain. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college in our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and Vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Now at 8.30, the trial of Mark Wagner ends its first week. Plus, two Triple Valley hospitals close their doors for good. Your top stories are coming up. Plus, the federal government passes a bill to avoid a government shutdown. CBS's Willie James Inman has the details on what it includes. And we are looking at clear skies this morning. It is a chilly start to our Saturday morning. We're talking about some cool weather this weekend. And also that, uh, some rain and snow moving in later tomorrow. We'll talk more about it coming up. And good morning and thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings on this new half hour. Let's begin with weather. We got a bit of snow yesterday, but now another cold day as ahead. Here's Kelly Slifka with what you need to know. Good morning, Kelly. Yeah, we do at least have the uh, sunshine out there, but it's a little bit deceiving because it is a cold start to our, well, our first uh, official uh, weekend of spring. Right now we're sitting at 21 in Madison. The winds are calm, so that allows that temperature to uh, drop quite a bit. So definitely a cool start to the morning. 21 in Madison, 19 in the Dells, La Crosse at uh, 21, 19 in Viroqua. So we do have uh, quiet conditions today, some sunshine this morning. Over toward La Crosse, we'll start to see some clouds starting to spread out on in. This is ahead of our next storm system that'll bring us not only some uh, snow, but also some rain going into the later part of the weekend. Uh, winds will be out of the northeast today, keeping our temperatures down in Madison, headed into the mid 30s today. So running uh, below our average uh, this afternoon with some clouds starting to spread on in as we go into the, into the afternoon. That'll continue into tonight and by tomorrow we can expect some snow mixing with a little bit of rain coming our way going into tomorrow. So kind of an active weather pattern setting up over the next uh, 10 days or so. We'll track it for you coming up in about 15 minutes. Hey, Kelly, thank you. Now to our top stories this morning, the trial of a state DCI investigator involved in the shooting of Quadron Wilson two years ago wrapped up its first week Friday. Mark Wagner is facing public endangerment charges. He's accused of firing on Wilson back in February of 2022 as part of an arrest operation on Madison's far east side. Wilson was wanted on drug charges when a number of agencies worked to arrest him. Wagner's defense team has argued Wilson was shooting at him, so he fired back. The trial is expected to continue through at least next week. Tarrah County, where a man was arrested after being accused of pointing a gun at another person, Officers responded to a home on High Street in the village of Clinton Friday morning. The sheriff's office said SWAT had to be called to respond to the scene. After multiple hours inside the residence, the suspect exited the home and was taken into custody. Up north in the Chippewa Valley, it's the end of an era for HSHS hospitals. Sacred Heart Hospital in Eau Claire and St. Joseph's Hospital in Chippewa Falls closed their doors for good on Friday, but not without a tribute. Community members, first responders, and employees gathered to celebrate the hospitals, their workers, and what they meant for so many throughout the region. One former employee says it wasn't just a hospital, it was a place where she built a family. Plans for a new facility in the area are currently under discussion. The federal government will continue to operate after the Senate passed legislation earlier this morning to avoid a last minute shutdown. The move follows action by the House on Friday. But even though the measure passed with bipartisan support in the lower chamber, it may come at the price for, part for Speaker Mike Johnson. Willie James Inman has more details from Capitol Hill. The Senate has now passed a bill which will fund the government for the rest of the year and avoid a shutdown which was set to take effect at midnight. It is good for the country that if we have reached this bipartisan deal. It wasn't easy, but tonight our persistence has been worth it. The bill now heads to the president's desk for his signature after the House passed the bill with broad bipartisan support Friday morning. 
On this vote, the yeas are 286, the nays are 134. The funding bill passed in the House despite stiff opposition from the right wing of the Republican Party, who say spending is too high and it doesn't address the real crisis in the country. Some will say that the Republicans are in the majority in the House, but it's clear that the Democrats own the Speaker's gavel. Because this bill, it's not a Republican piece of legislation. It's keeping the border open. The last time Republicans passed a spending bill over the objections of the far right, it cost House Speaker Kevin McCarthy his job. And history may be about to repeat itself with current House Speaker Mike Johnson. This is basically a warning. Georgia Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene filed a motion to vacate the Speaker's chair. It's time for us to go through through the process, take our time, and find a new Speaker of the House that will stand with Republicans and our Republican majority instead of standing with the Democrats. Johnson says he's not concerned. I don't operate in fear, no. But we have to do the job and we have to go. That's what we're doing day by day. House members are going on a two-week recess, which could give Johnson time to convince Green to withdraw the motion. Willie James Inman, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Now, Green did not file the motion to vacate as privileged motion. Had she done so, the House would have been required to vote on the measure within two days. With a very thin majority in the House, it would only take four Republicans voting with Democrats to unseat Johnson from the House Speaker's chair. Got some other news out of Wisconsin. Wisconsin Congressman, uh, rather out of Washington, Wisconsin Congressman Mike Gallagher says he is resigning his office in a month. The representative from Wisconsin's 8th Congressional District had previously announced he would not run for re-election at the end of his term. Friday's announcement means his last day will be on April 19th, and that will hand another blow to Speaker Johnson and his razor-thin Republican majority. The House already has three vacancies left by two Republicans and one Democrat. Now more news across the country. Two people have died and more than 40 were injured after a crash involving a school bus and a concrete truck in a suburb of Austin, Texas. The bus was carrying 44 students and 11 adults who were returning from a field trip to a local zoo. The bus collided with the truck and then rolled over, causing a third vehicle to become involved in the crash. There was a heavy presence of first responders and drivers were urged to avoid the area. An escaped prisoner in Idaho and his alleged accomplice are in custody. Maximum security inmate Skylar Mead and his accomplice, Nicholas Umfenor, were arrested just 35 hours after they pulled off a violent escape from a Boise hospital. They were arrested separately Friday with more than 100 miles in between each following a multi-agency manhunt. There was a short vehicle pursuit. There were no shots fired or extensive use of force in this operation for which we are thankful. Investigators say Meade deliberately injured himself in prison to get taken to the hospital, and when he was about to be transported back, Umman Fuller ambushed corrections officers in the ambulance bay. Three were shot and in the chaos and survived. Police say the fugitives ditched the car used in the initial escape, and they suspect they killed two people while on the run. Law enforcement officials in Nashville say they've recovered the remains of Riley Strain, Strain was the 22-year-old uh, Missouri uh, University of Missouri student who went missing March 8th while on a trip to downtown Nashville with members of his fraternity. His body was found Friday morning in the Cumberland River. Nashville police say no foul play is suspected and an autopsy is pending. It's not clear yet if someone matched all six numbers in last night's Mega Millions lottery. The jackpot was close to a billion dollars before last night with an estimated $977 million up for grabs. No one matched the five numbers and Mega Ball in Tuesday night's drawing for the $893 million prize, making Friday's jackpot the sixth largest in Mega Millions history. And some are already thinking about what they do with that money. What I'd do is I'd set a trust fund up for all my siblings, and I'd give the rest of the money to the ACC, which is where I rescued my dog. I got businesses lined up ready to, ready to go. I got the plans in order ready to go. Probably give most of it away, but... I mean, who in the world needs all that money? Not me. There's been no luck in the Powerball either, which means that jackpot has climbed to $750 million. The next Powerball drawing is tonight. Well, stick around. Kelly Hay is back with a check at today's forecast. And here's today's Day of History.
took 138 iterations to refine the Tiguan chassis, but it also took 189 pizzas and 52 all-nighters. The meticulously refined Tiguan. Get 0% APR financing or a $2,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Tiguan during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary sales event. Get a great deal and do a great deal of good when you shop at Habitat Restore. From furniture and decor to appliances and building materials, we've got everything you need for your next project. Shop our convenient East and West locations today. You've got this. You didn't think your sister would take you up on the dog sitting offer, but here you are. Barriers, purchased. Doggy distractions, no expense spared. Yeah, you've got this. Just like Associated Banks got you with $50 overdraft grace zone. So when you have to make a purchase or seven to prepare, you can be sure we're looking out for you. So you can look out for him. You've got this with Associated Bank. Tempur-Pedic designed the Ergo Pro Smart Base to help you fall asleep more easily. It's the only Smart Base that features our exclusive soundscape mode that synchronizes a gentle massage with relaxing sounds to help you drift peacefully off to sleep. Get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Need struts? RockAuto.com has budget, standard, and premium options. Wiper blades, frame, beam, or winter. Click the info button for features and benefits. All the parts your car will ever need. Only at Vanguard, you're more than just an investor, you're an owner. That means your priorities are ours, too. Our retirement tools and advice can help you leave a legacy for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Experience the Channel 3000 news app today. Tailored for your news the way you want it. With a customizable home page and faster page loads, download the Channel 3000 news app. Powered by News 3 Now. Bet you didn't see that. But if you were an Atlas and could detect things in 0.02 seconds, you would have. The Atlas with Front Assist. Get 1.9% APR financing or a $3,000 customer bonus on a new 2024 Atlas or Atlas Cross Sport during the Volkswagen 75th anniversary event. News 3 Now brings you a preview of Wisconsin spring elections. What's at stake on the April ballot? From key races to statewide amendments, what you need to know before heading to the polls. Plus, expert political analysis from both parties on Wisconsin's vital role as a battleground state and the issues that matter most today and moving forward to November. Campaign 2024, Battleground Wisconsin, Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. on News 3 Now. All right, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka, and this uh, chilly start to our uh, first weekend of spring in the uh, upper teens and low 20s across uh, all of southern Wisconsin. Uh, we do have the uh, sun for now. That may change a little bit later on going into this afternoon. For the cross, those clouds will uh, roll in later this afternoon as we uh, rise into the upper 30s. The winds will be fairly light, but they're coming in from the north. That's ushering in some of that cooler weather. And in Madison, looking at more sunshine temperatures in the mid to upper 30s today, running uh, well below our average. Looking at those clouds increasing later today, looking at mid to upper 30s across all of southern Wisconsin. A chilly day, but it should be dry today. And tomorrow, we'll be in the mid to upper 30s, looking at some snow, eventually changing over to some rain moving in later tomorrow. We'll talk more about that uh, rain and snow chance coming our way tomorrow. I'll talk about that coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, Kelly, thank you. If you're struggling with your heating bill, Alliant Energy is encouraging customers to reach out. The customer's disconnection moratorium ends April 15th in Wisconsin, but households can still apply for additional funds through its assistance program. Alliant Energy's Low Income Home Energy Assistance Program helps families pay their heating bills. A representative with the company says they understand the financial pressure many families are facing, and the last thing they want to do is shut off anyone's service. Now to why many middle-aged Americans are feeling lonely and how declining birth rates could change the world. CBS's Michael George has some of the week's top health stories. Global fertility rates are expected to decline dramatically by the year 2100, with more than 97% of countries and territories falling below levels needed to replace their populations. The study, published in The Lancet, predicts over three-quarters of births will occur in lower-income countries by the end of the century, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa. 
Researchers suggest the trends will make higher income countries more reliant on open immigration to sustain economic growth. A new study finds e-cigarette users experience similar changes to the DNA of certain cells as smokers. Researchers in London looked at e-cigarette users who smoked less than 100 traditional cigarettes in their lives. They say they saw genetic changes similar to the ones associated with the future development of lung cancer in smokers. And middle-aged adults in the U.S. report higher levels of loneliness than adults in Europe. Researchers at Arizona State believe it could be due in part to weaker family ties and greater income inequality. The study also shows that loneliness in general is on the rise across both the U.S. and Europe. Those are some of the week's top health stories. Michael George, CBS News, New York. All right, time now is 844, still ahead. We go to Brooklyn with last night's Badgers loss to James Madison in the NCAA tournament. Plus, let's take another live look outside. Kelly will have his full forecast next on Weekend Mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel protected, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Save up to 23% when you bundle auto and home. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. For the second year in a row, Chevy Equinox has been ranked by J.D. Power number one in new vehicle quality for compact SUVs. In other words, it's really good right from the start. Chevy Equinox. Do that again. Connected by OnStar. Qualified lessees can get this Equinox for $269 a month. See your Badgerland Chevy dealer today. You were always so dedicated. We worked hard to build up the shop, save for college and our retirement. But we got there thanks to our advisor and Vanguard. Now I see who all that hard work was for. It was always for you. Seeing you carry on our legacy, I'm so proud. At Vanguard, you're more than just an investor. You're an owner, setting up the future for the ones you love. That's the value of ownership. Here's California banker Eric Hovde, running for U.S. Senate. But Hovde's lifestyle? Pure California. CEO of a billion-dollar bank, Here's Hubdi's over $7 million Laguna Beach mansion. And three years in a row, Eric Hubdi was named one of Orange County's most influential residents. Mm. Multimillionaire California banker Eric Hubdi. On Wisconsin's side, don't bank on it. When Senate is responsible for the content of this ad. Only your locally owned Cub Cadet dealer has genuine parts, accessories, trained service technicians, and the widest selection of innovative Cub Cadet products. We're here for you whenever you need us. With expert service and support to keep your equipment running at peak performance for years to come. Take advantage of exceptional financing at your local Cub Cadet dealer today. To find the dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. When you feel protected under our roof, you're free to enjoy your dreams. Bundle auto, home, and life and save up to 25%. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at amfam.com. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Well, good morning, meteorologist Kelly Slifka out on the uh, patio. We still have the uh, white conditions out here with the snow on the ground. It is a, a chilly start to the morning, but we do have some sunshine. The sun should be helping melt some of the snow today. We're looking at uh, quiet conditions, but also rather chilly for this time of March. First weekend of spring. Some snow mixed with some rain moving in tomorrow. And that's going to be a rainy and a windy Monday. So we've got kind of an active weather pattern setting up. Uh, not today so much, but it is chilly this morning. We're 21 in Madison. Uh, honestly, it doesn't feel that cold this morning uh, because of that sunshine helping things out. It's down to 13 in Camp Douglas, uh, 26 in Monroe. So we'll look at quite a bit of sunshine this morning. As the afternoon wears on, we will see some clouds burning in from the west going to the late afternoon into the evening. Temperatures in the mid to upper 30s today. 
And later tonight, by tomorrow morning, can't rule out some snow showers moving through. This will be moving through fairly quickly. And then as temperatures warm up, I expect some of that snow to change over to some rain as the storm system will be off to our west as temperatures climb into the upper 30s tomorrow. And even into the overnight period, a lot of that uh, uh, precipitation will be in the liquid form, just some rain showers as temperatures will be well above freezing. That'll continue into Monday, and it's going to be kind of a windy day for Monday with on and off showers and can't even rule out an isolated thunderstorm tracking through as we uh, start this uh, new work week. Temperatures today should be in the mid to upper 30s this afternoon. A little bit more cloud cover spreading in areas to the west toward the Mississippi River. And tonight will be in the upper 20s and low 30s with some of that snow spreading on in uh, after midnight. So tomorrow we'll look at uh, 30s, uh, but along with that we'll see some rain and snow showers moving on in as the uh, cool weather once again, pretty persistent across the upper Mississippi Valley and that storm system moving on through. I think after we get through this weekend, early next week, we will see some milder temperatures and uh, definitely feeling a little bit more like spring as we go into uh, next week and next weekend as we will see above average temperatures. But meantime, cool this weekend, mid to upper 30s. Should be in the 50s on Monday. A little bit of a cool down for uh, Tuesday and Wednesday of next week before we get back in the 50s, it looks like, by the later part of next week. Lacrosse 38 today with the uh, clouds moving on in later this afternoon with some of those snow showers spreading on in. That'll change over to some rain showers tomorrow afternoon. Upper 50s on Monday before we cool down a little bit early next week, but then we're right back in the uh, 50s later in the week. For Madison, some of that uh, snow moving on in tomorrow, changing to some rain showers. Kind of a sloppy Sunday for us after the uh, sunshine today. We'll be in the 50s on Monday. Uh, a little bit cooler by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week before uh, rebounding back in the uh, 50s by the later part of next week. And along with that, another chance of some rain and snow, it looks like, by Thursday and Friday of next week. Well, if you're a Badger loyalist and just waking up this morning, you're not going to like this. The Badgers losing in last night's March Madness game against James Madison, knocking them out of the tournament. News 3 now, Zach Hanley is in Brooklyn, New York with a full breakdown. The last two times the Badgers were a five seed in the NCAA tournament, they were bounced by a 12 seed in the first round. Wisconsin not looking for a similar fate this time around against James Madison. But unfortunately, history has a way of repeating itself. Tyler Wall locked in for his final March Madness in a UW uniform, and the first half couldn't have gone any worse. AJ Storr takes it to the cup for two plus one. That cuts it to five, but 13 first half turnovers had Wisconsin down 13 at the break. Second half, Max Klesman came alive. Mad Max buries his fourth triple of the second half to keep Bucky in this one. He had a team high 18. But this sums up the night for Wisconsin. Klesman misses a layup on one end, and on the other end, James Madison hits a three. Season high 19 turnovers and shooting 37% from the floor won't get it done. And it didn't. Wisconsin falls 72 to 61. It burns because you put a lot into this. This wasn't just, you weren't preparing for this just for four days after Selection Sunday. You've been working towards this since you know, last June to get to this point. So these guys have poured a lot into it, and hence you see the, the tears and the um, emotion coming from it because they've it means a lot. Meanwhile, the Wisconsin women's hockey team also on the big stage four and a half hours away in Durham, New Hampshire. Andrew Banster has more from the Frozen Four. All the training, all the blood, sweat, and tears, it all comes down to this. Wisconsin playing Colgate in the national semifinal. Bucky just two wins away from back-to-back -back national titles. And the Badgers arrived in style to defend their crown. First period and on the eve of the National Player of the Year award being announced, Kirsten Sims stuffs the ballot box. The presumed Patty Kaz winner nets her 33rd goal of the season, and Wisconsin opens their frozen four run with a lead. And then all of a sudden, the game fell silent, at least until it was time to put the nail in the coffin. Third period, and that's where Vivian Jungles comes in. Picture-perfect assist from Britta Curl and Casey O'Brien. The Badgers brush, gargle, and rinse Colgate, winning it 3-1, to one, setting up a national championship rematch on Sunday. We're excited, obviously, to win the game and, and, and move on and get an opportunity to play in the last uh, game of the season so we look forward to uh, Sunday and the challenges that will present to us. Yeah I just think it kind of settled our nerves a little bit and kind of let us get into our game more and get into the flow of things a little bit more but 
Definitely think we started to push more later in the game, but that first goal definitely got our energy up and got us kind of to settle in a little bit more and let the nerves go. When I talked to the team after the game, their attitudes were very telling. A lot of groups would be giddy after winning a national semifinal, but not the Badgers. The job, it's not done. At the Women's Frozen Four in Durham, New Hampshire, Andrew Banstra, News 3 Sports. So it's a rematch of last year's national championship game between the Badgers and the Buckeyes in Durham while in Brooklyn. Another Badger basketball season comes to an end. At the Barclays Center, Zach Hanley, News 3 Sports. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Suffering from middleman mattress markup malaise? You have no idea. And ditch the distributor. And shop Factory Direct Savings at Denver Mattress instead. And during the March mattress sale, everything is on sale. Like the Summit Queen, now only $332.49. Or check out the Doctor's Choice Plush for only $759.99. Plus five years no interest and free shipping. Say no to the middleman mattress markup malaise and shop Denver Mattress today. The easiest way to get the right mattress. Certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. For imprint certain? Certainty matters. For imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For imprint, for certain. Look, I'm not a young guy. That's no secret. But here's the deal. I understand how to get things done for the American people. I led the country through the COVID crisis. Today, we have the strongest economy in the world. I passed a law that lowers prescription drug prices. Caps insulin at $35 a month for seniors. For four years, Donald Trump tried to pass an infrastructure law, and he failed. I got it done. Now we're rebuilding America. I passed the biggest law in history to combat climate change because our future depends on it. Donald Trump took away the freedom of women to choose. I'm determined to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land again. Donald Trump believes the job of the president is to take care of Donald Trump. I believe the job of the president is to fight for you, the American people, and that's what I'm doing. I'm Joe Biden, and I approve this message. Can we do one more take? Look, I'm very young, energetic, and handsome. What the hell am I doing this for? the Bucks on broadcast TV when they square off with the Pelicans on your new local home for select Bucks games. Watch Giannis and the Bucks fly into NOLA to zap Zion and the soaring Pelicans. It's Dame time in the Big Easy. Bucks, Pelicans on your new local home for select Milwaukee Bucks games. Thursday, March 28th at 7 on Television Wisconsin. Welcome to Oakmont Senior Community in Verona. Active seniors 55 plus will enjoy our new luxury apartments professionally managed by award-winning Attic Angel Community. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at nine. All right, time now for one final check of the forecast with Kelly. Yeah, we are talking about temperatures uh, only in the uh, 20s this morning. At least we do have the uh, sunshine out there that should help Try to melt some of this snow. Readings in the mid to upper 30s today. Tonight, though, some snow showers spread in from the west. This will be some lighter snow moving in. And eventually, as temperatures warm, that snow will change over to some rain going into tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. Not really expecting an accumulation, but just kind of a sloppy Sunday. And Monday for us. Can't even rule out a couple of thunderstorms rolling through on Monday. First warm forecast 38 today. 45 tomorrow in La Crosse, 58 with some rain showers, maybe an isolated thunderstorm. Uh, quieter weather by the middle of the week. For Madison, we're talking about uh, 30s, um, eventually warming into the 50s next week. All right, Kelly, thank you so much. Thank you all for watching. Brad here tomorrow morning at 630.